Hi there, welcome back. If you remember, this week we're working on a three-part activity and yesterday was seating and scissors and today is going to be writing. Um, next week we're going to talk a lot more about handwriting and the fundamentals of it, but today I want caregivers, we're going to have a quick chat and um, children, if you would like to get a pen, a pencil, and a crayon, a colored pencil, whatever you like to draw with, go for that. Um, and grown-ups. I have a lot of parents who ask about question, like questions about handwriting. Um, we're gonna quickly cover the writing instrument right now. So depending on the age of your student, some kids, all kids, start out coloring like this, right? It's called a grip grasp. And then they move on to this grasp, and then they move on to this grasp. So to foster that, right now, I'm gonna use this. It's a lot easier to say, see. Um, it's really easy to grab it because it's big. If you use something smaller, it fosters a more mature grasp. So for example, this teeny, teeny guy is something that I would keep as an OT because it's great because I can't really get all of my hand around it. So it fosters a more mature grasp and it grows as the student grows and as the hand um, develops. So if you have a little guy and or a student who's still learning and you want to perfect the grasp, use smaller instruments. So I like for pencils, smaller pencils. This is very large. Uh, even for me, it's a really big pencil to manage. So pencils that are great to use would be like if you mini golf, um, the little pencils, they're great for this. Um, and a Pen's tricky because you can't make it shorter, but this is a whole pen. And my example always to parents is I take this off. It's like, this is actually the ideal size that you would want. Um, I'm going to use a pen today um, so you can see it. Okay, so what we're going to do today on all of our little pieces of paper, we're going to write animal names. Write any animal name that you really enjoy. Um, so yesterday I did this with a friend and we wrote some funny ones. Um, so it's helpful again, if it's hard to just draw or write in space like this has no lines or anything. So letters can be wiggly. Why don't you draw a line? So then I would draw a line for someone to write on. And my line is right there. It's not very thick. Um, and so yesterday we wrote slug, um, S L U G. And then we also wrote raccoon. I want you to write down animals that you like. So I might next write, maybe I'll use a different color. Let's see. Here's a little guy. Great. And this truly is when I work with students, this is the box that I use. Um, it looks like crayons that you'd throw away, <laughs> but they're great for OT and fostering a more mature grasp. So I'm gonna write another name, animal name, and I'm gonna try to stay on the line. I wonder what you can, if you can see what I wrote. I wrote pig. So you have either 12 or was it 16 um, pieces of paper. And I want you to take time with your grown up. Um, if you know how to spell, write them on your own, that's fine. But if you don't know how to spell, ask your grown up or you can look it up or maybe even ask your teacher on all these Google classes that we're doing. Um, you can try that. So today's project using if you need to, a shorter writing instrument to foster a more mature grasp, um, and you're writing animal names on our cards. And tomorrow I'm gonna to show you what we're gonna do with these cards. Um, so you can bring your writing instruments back tomorrow and the cards. All right, I've got slug, frog, raccoon, and pig. But you could have giraffe, elephant, penguin, hippo. Um, you could have anything you want. Okay guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.